Leopards are probably the stealthiest and most skilled big cats in the bush. They can climb trees as well, if not better than monkeys, and they are masters at sneaking up on prey. If you want to see these beautiful cats in action, it's time, so let's get started. In our thumbnail, we could see a leopard holding a dead python in its mouth. These felines often encounter the large snakes, and because of their skill and quick footwork, they do well against the constrictors. This leopard manages to bite a python and drag it a few meters on the ground, but at one point the leopard lets go of the snake, which returns into the water the moment it can. Leopards are bold predators who are more than capable of tackling larger prey, even though mature pythons can weigh over 90 kilos. This leopard starts a fight with this rock python, Africa's largest species of snakes. The big cat is hesitant, making sure it doesn't become entangled with the snake, which could mean a slow death for the cat. However, the leopard is so agile and quick, I don't think it's in any danger. The python almost gets it in a hold, but the leopard can jump out of there quickly while its cub watches the battle attentively. Mom lets her two gorgeous cubs deal with a venomous cobra without assisting them, and she doesn't look worried at all. The cubs do well to avoid the snake's strikes, but is mom being careless or just letting her cubs see how life in the bush really is? Leopards are often seen crashing warthog dens to pull out the residents, but in this video, a leopard pulls a mongoose out of his den while it is taking a nap. What a rude awakening that must have been. As leopards age and become slower, weaker, and unable to tackle large prey, it is not uncommon for them to begin hunting smaller prey such as rodents, mongoose, birds, and even dangerous reptiles. Having said that, the leopard in this video does not look particularly old, so he may have just been exploiting an easy opportunity for a breakfast snack. A leopard entertains a few wildlife enthusiasts when it tries to get to a mongoose standing at the top of a tiny tree. The big cat climbs to the point of bending the tree, which forces the mongoose to the ground, and that's when the feline strikes and kills the little guy. The martial eagle is a formidable bird of prey, but when it stands on the ground, it becomes more vulnerable, especially when a big cat like the leopard stalks and attacks it. The bird has no chance of escape as the feline kills and eats its prey. A stealthy leopard ambushes an impala and executes the perfect hunt. The second he goes for the kill, he neutralizes his prey and chokes it to death without a problem. Leopards are ambush hunters who rely mainly on their well-camouflaged coat. Their most well-known spots are rosettes, which are a succession of spots organized in a circular pattern. These rosettes help to break up the form of the body, allowing them to blend in with nearly anything. They are extremely cunning animals that will use any means available to them, including lurking beneath fallen logs, in gullies, and even launching a surprise attack from trees above their prey. Leopards are cunning and opportunistic animals that will take any opportunity to catch an easy prey. This leopard saw some impalas feeding under a tree he was perched on. He took this opportunity to leap high from the tree to catch the unsuspecting impalas. Leopards are the most adaptable large cats on the planet, able to thrive in a wide range of environments. They can live in semi-desert, mountains, savanna, tropical rainforest, and any place in between. They have also been known to roam across cities and prey on pets that have been hunted straight out of a garden. When a leopard thinks his prey is dead, the big cat is startled when the animal isn't and tries to run away. However, the leopard is quick enough to prevent the small impala from escaping and holds onto it for good this time. The hunt is over, and this leopard is already seated at the dining room table enjoying dinner as the sun is setting in the bush. It's a beautiful sight as onlookers enjoy this wonderful sighting. Leopards are found throughout Africa and Southern Asia and, except for extreme desert areas, have colonized and thrived in practically every habitat. Onlookers had been looking for this leopard for a long time on their previous day at this location, but had no luck. On the second day, they heard she had been spotted and got there just in time to see her go in for a kill. The victim was a poor baby dick dick that didn't stand a chance. A beautiful female leopard creeps out of the bush in the early morning on the Maasai Mara Africa and spots a group of unsuspecting impala and gazelle. Crouching stealthily in the long grass, the animal hunts, creeping closer and closer, 
waiting for the perfect moment, and then pounces swiftly on its prey. It then carries the carcass off into the bushes where it plays with it and eventually killing and eating it. When leopards capture baby gazelles, they usually fiddle with them before making the kill, just like the leopard in this video is doing. The gazelle thinks the leopard is her new pet and has no clue it's going to be eaten by the feline, but moments later, it's exactly what happens. When a leopard is seen creeping up on an unsuspecting gazelle that's laying in the grass, relaxing, it's easy to conclude that the big cat is a cinch to make the kill but as soon as the gazelle senses danger, it takes off and the leopard isn't as fast as his cousin, the cheetah, so he bites the dust and watches his dinner disappear in an instant. While on safari, wildlife enthusiasts were quite fortunate to see this rarely seen incident. They watched this leopard gently creep up on an unsuspecting Thompson's gazelle for over 20 minutes. Their guide can be heard chatting on the Land Rover radio with the other guides in the background. This was only one of their Tanzanian safari's highlights. This leopard has just killed a zebra and is now capable of carrying it up into a tree. Although it cannot defeat a lion, this animal has incredible strength and agility. It is exhausted when it arrives at its destination, but at least it can eat its dinner in peace. The image of a leopard in a tree with its kill is well known. Because of their exceptionally powerful shoulders and legs, they can easily drag an antelope twice its own body weight a few meters up a vertical tree. This tree catching avoids conflict with larger predators who would not hesitate to take their well-earned supper. Lions and hyenas are the main culprits, and while lions can climb, they are often clumsy and ungainly in a tree. A leopard spots a porcupine family and decides to test the merchandise when mom and dad take their little guy for a walk in this video. The big cat realizes the pain isn't worth the prize after a few gentle taps on the porcupines and fleas. Porcupines are Africa's and the world's second largest rodents, and many predators, including lions, have had quills lodged in their faces or paws. The quills occasionally fall out easily, but if infected, they can cause terrible wounds that impair the predator's ability to hunt and, in extreme cases, result in death. This has happened to other leopards I've seen in videos. Baboons and leopards are known adversaries. Baboons will call out the location of a leopard as soon as they spot one, disrupting the leopard's hunt. Leopards, in retaliation, are stealthy and can hunt and kill a lone baboon who is not paying attention. The baboons in this video have spotted the leopard and are ready to swarm it if it gets too close, so the feline decides to lay down and relax instead. The following clip is absolutely insane. Watch as this leopard leaps from tree to tree, eventually approaching and killing a monkey. In the treetops, monkeys are highly agile, but this leopard is faster and acrobatic. This reveals a great deal about the leopard's abilities and power. This cat would be hired by the Cirque du Soleil on the spot if they saw him perform this way. You've probably figured out by now that if you're fleeing a leopard, the last place you want to hide is in a tree. The leopard is a highly skilled cat, and the way this leopard climbs a tree in this video and hunts a monkey, you would think the big cat is more skilled than the primate. The leopard has got to be, by far, the most skilled cat when hunting in trees. Leopards show incredible patience and will strive to get as near to their prey as possible before attacking, frequently waiting for their prey to come to them. Although they are extraordinarily swift over short distances, they cannot maintain this speed, and if the prey escapes the initial attack, they will usually not pursue. Even though these two look like they're playing a game of tag, it's not the case. The leopard is chasing the monkey, and guess what? It makes the kill. Monkeys must never underestimate the skills of a leopard. These big cats are the most agile and athletic of the big cats, and they are capable of unbelievable maneuvers when chasing prey in a tree. In this video, a leopard catches a baby warthog, but the mother chases the big cat right into the path of a second baby warthog. Leopards love to catch warthogs and do so on a regular basis. Some leopards learn to specialize in hunting warthogs. Female leopards are more likely to go after baby warthogs because full-size warthogs are too big. This leopard is attempting to finish off this warthog, but warthogs are formidable opponents that can do significant damage of their own. No one can argue the warthog is in jeopardy, but you never know what can happen when two animals are engaged in a fight. On this day, however, the cat is simply too powerful. When leopards take on warthogs, the battle is always thrilling. This encounter was no different with a big male leopard having successfully caught a big warthog. 
The winner is never guaranteed in these fights, but this leopard had a good hold, and despite a great effort by the warthog, it eventually succumbed. This male leopard grabs another tiny newborn as it checks out the den to see if there's anything bigger. I guess the warthogs in the den are afraid to come out, and they would rather let their newborn fill the cat's tummy for the time being and live an extra day. I get it. But what if there are a few adult warthogs in the den? Maybe they could come out and challenge the cat, forcing it to let go of the baby. I guess that's not going to happen. This is a classic leopard versus warthog scene. When a male leopard takes on a warthog almost as big as himself, the leopard puts his own life on the line for the sake of a warthog meal. But the leopard and the warthog become locked in mortal combat as each tries to ensure their own survival. Warthogs have been known to mortally wound leopards in situations such as this, and big male leopards will often catch bigger warthogs than this. This time though, it's the leopard that gets the bigger end of the stick. A male leopard can be seen feeding on a buffalo calf while biting at some irritating flies. Even after making the kill, the big cat can't eat in peace because of some miserable and annoying flies. We can't see all the details in most of these videos, but you can bet that all of these food fests include all sorts of tiny insects flying around, trying to get their share of the spoils, whether it's from the animal carcass or the predators actually eating their meal. The male leopard in this video found a buffalo calf that had perhaps been trampled by the herd and took it up in a tree. Here he is sleeping, trying to recuperate after expending so much energy and putting forth so much effort bringing the calf up the tree. Leopards have their favorite prey, but they will never turn down a good steak. This leopard tries to ambush a buffalo, but when it charges the animal, it comes face to face with three buffaloes and they are too much for the big cat to handle. The cat turns around, climbs a tree, and rethinks his strategy. Leopards don't usually take the risk of hunting adult buffaloes. Even lions don't do this, unless it is a male lion, and even then, it's still a big risk. Leopards target buffalo calves, but when the adults are around, situations like this one may occur. A leopard runs out of the brush to attack a white dog on a dirt road in front of many onlookers, but for some reason, after grabbing the small dog, the big cat runs for daylight. Either something spooked the feline or it just decided the dog wasn't what it was looking for and it was a case of mistaken identity. There may be a few canines who can defeat a leopard. The Caucasian Mountain Dog, commonly known as the Caucasian Shepherd, is not dangerous to humans but will defend his master to the death. They are a massive breed with tremendous strength. So theoretically, the Caucasian of Charka Mountain Dog can kill a leopard, but it would be a long and painful combat for both creatures. These breeds have been known to take on lions. However, they are normally maintained and defended in groups of more than eight. The Tibetan Mastiff is another breed said to be capable of killing large cats such as leopards, as well as other large wild dogs and wolves. When battling huge cats, wild dogs, or bears, the Tibetan Mastiff's hair produces a massive protective mane around their neck and shoulders like that of a lion, which would be a biological advantage. Only these two breeds can compete with a leopard, but I wouldn't count the Kangal out. The leopard in this video has an easy kill when he spots a small dog and kills it in an instant. The large cat can be seen walking away from the scene with the dead dog in its mouth. Small dogs like these are particularly vulnerable to leopard attacks because they lack the means to defend themselves against such powerful predators. The dog in this video has no idea that a leopard is approaching it, and boy is it a big leopard. It's over in seconds when the big cat lays his paws on the dog. Even if this dog had seen the big cat approaching, the outcome would have been the same. In the middle of the night in India, a leopard enters a house and emerges with a large dog in its mouth, dragging it on the ground away from the house to certain death. Consider living in a neighborhood where leopards are allowed to enter homes as if they were pets. It's incredible. A leopard wrestles with an antelope in the tall grass, and within a few seconds, the antelope is at the pearly gates, waiting for St. Peter to let it in. When he asks the antelope for the password, the animal is stumped and doesn't know what to say. 30 feet up in a tree, a group of owls is not expecting this four-legged predator to come calling. The lesson here? Never underestimate a leopard's speed and agility, especially when the action takes place in a tree. A leopard stalks what looks like a herd of wildebeest, and when the time is right, the big cat snatches one of the animals, but the fight is furious and not easy for the feline. After a long struggle, the powerful feline drags the dead animal to the dinner table. 
This is one meal this feline deserves wholeheartedly after such a gigantic effort. On an early game drive, wildlife enthusiasts noticed this female leopard wandering through the bushes. They watched and followed her for about an hour as she stopped and looked for prey. She immediately positioned herself in stalking mode and sat down next to their vehicle when she strolled past it at one point. They discovered she'd seen a jackal pup behind their vehicle at this point. This pup was one of a litter of three that they'd seen the night before in a nearby lair. Their mother was nowhere to be found. This one pup seems to have gotten lost outside the den that morning and was noticed by this leopard on the lookout for prey. A leopard slowly sneaks up on a jackal in this video. He uses the tall grass to creep up on the unsuspecting prey without being noticed, until he finds nothing because neither the leopard nor I can see the jackal. Perhaps the scavenger sensed the leopard approaching and took off, and this is why it was nowhere to be found when the big cat went for the kill. A male leopard is battling a hyena for his dinner. The hyena misses the leopard by a few inches as he makes his way up the big marula tree with the cadaver. Leopards and hyenas engage in skirmishes for food on a regular basis, and most of the time anyhow, the times I have seen, the hyena triumphs. These three lions grab a leopard just before it's able to climb a tree to safety, and the leopard lies on his back to defend himself. I don't know how this turned out, but it didn't look good for the leopard. I'm thinking it was most probably killed by the lions. In this video, a snow leopard demonstrates its ability to kill prey three times its own height. The snow leopard hunts the ibex, and when it succeeds, it can feed the entire family. The chase is on, but the ibex is skilled and fast on this type of terrain, and although the big cat is also quick on his feet, I don't think he makes the kill in this instance. We don't get to see the conclusion of the hunt, so this is an educated guess. Actually, more of a wild guess. Monitor lizards aren't the best prey for leopards because of their thick skin, but it doesn't mean leopards don't chase or hunt them. After watching this lizard swing his tail from side to side for a few seconds, the leopard gets fed up and grabs the lizard by the neck, dragging it into the bush to finish it off. It's a known fact that leopards are skilled cats and they are probably the best among felines at climbing and maneuvering in trees. The leopard in this video is perched up high in a tree, stalking a bird of unsuspecting wildebeest down below and has targeted a calf waiting for the perfect moment to strike. When it finally jumps on the animal, everything is smooth and perfect, or so it seems, but the leopard left one extremely important element out of the equation for the hunt to fail. The presence of the calf's mom. When she rams into the leopard with reckless abandon, it's back up the tree for the big cat until it figures things out. A leopard runs and tackles an unsuspecting wildebeest calf, but once again, mom is there to save the day as she attacks the leopard without holding back crashing into the big cat until it hurts enough to abdicate and run away. Here is a leopard that just made a kill and is carrying the dead wildebeest calf away from onlookers, probably headed in the direction of a tree to eat its meal away from thieves. It takes a break for a few seconds before picking up the carcass again. It pauses several times as if it senses a presence in the area. When it finally feels safe, it runs up a mound with the carcass in mouth to enjoy its meal. This leopard is attempting to finish off a warthog, but warthogs are difficult opponents to handle, and they could do significant damage with their tusks. It's fair to say that the warthog is not winning this fight, but you never know what can happen when two animals are engaged in a fight. Unfortunately, the warthog doesn't cut it this time. A leopard watches some crocodiles feast on a carcass and tries to get close to it to see if there's an opportunity for him to snatch something. The crocodiles don't bother with the cat as the feline decides it's wiser to go looking elsewhere for something to eat and not risk being attacked by the hungry reptiles. Cheetahs are taller at the shoulders than leopards, but they are much more slender and faster than their cousins. Many of their muscles have been sacrificed to give them a sleek aerodynamic shape that has allowed them to become the fastest land animal on earth with top speeds of 120 kilometers per hour. As the shortest big cats, leopards are heavier and more powerful than cheetahs, but they are also the most agile. While the cheetah is known for its speed, leopards use their strength to stalk their prey and then carry their prey up trees to keep it safe from predators. Because of their physical differences, a cheetah will run away from a leopard if it approaches its territory. In our video, a leopard was quick enough to catch and kill a cheetah. It's always sad to see one big cat kill another, but it's the reality of life in the bush. The leopard is an incredible predator and you just saw proof in these videos. 
but chasing those monkeys up those trees was beyond wild to watch for me. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be a part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thank you for watching and see you next time.